Hi everyone, it's Michelle. How you all going? How you all getting on? Haven't seen you for a little while. I had to have a bit of a break from YouTube. Not a bad idea sometimes. So, hey, thanks. Thank you for stopping by today and spending time with me. It's another haul today. It's another ASOS haul and it's dresses. I think I've got one pair of pants and it's all dresses. So summer and spring dresses from ASOS. And I think I've mentioned ASOS more than once here on YouTube. One of my favorite, probably is my favorite fashion online store. So first cab off the rack is this little mustard dress. It's a crossover here. It's empire line. It's very high stretch quality jersey. It's um, a little bit too figure hugging for me. I do like it a lot, but it's quite figure hugging. So today I'll be showing you quite a few dresses and which ones I'm likely to keep and which ones I'm sending back. And as usual, I don't keep very many, if any at all. But this one, I like it a lot. It's a pretty good fit, but I'm kind of over the figure hugging thing. I'm over having to wear the shapewear and getting all the right lingerie. I think it's a great dress. I think it's a very elegant dress. My colour, of course, mustard. I think this one will go back though. I do like it. I think it's going to go back. I do have to say it's a bit of a hard call on this dress because um, it is nice. I do quite like this dress. It's very classic. And the bag, I picked up some bags from an online store in Australia called Colette. Colette is known very well for their costume jewellery, but they also do fantastic bags. I don't think they do anything in leather. It's all pleather, which suits me just fine because I don't buy leather bags anymore. And this little bag, which could be across the body if I wanted it to be, this little tan bag, I think it was like $15. Colette's having a great sale at the moment, and some of their sales are like half price. When they do sales, there's always a really generous discount with Colette. So I picked up a few bags who were missing in my wardrobe. Believe it or not, I had a few bags missing and one was just a plain tan bag because tan goes with a lot in my wardrobe. I think it does for a lot of women actually. Anyway, this dress, love it, but I think it's going back. I wear a lot of white, I love white. And there's been a lot of spots around now for, well, a couple of seasons actually. Spots have been really popular. You either love them or you don't. I don't mind a few polka dots or spots. I, I know some people say polka dots. I tend to say that when they're smaller. I don't know when it's a polka dot or when it's a spot, to be honest. But this, these spots are a little bit bigger than I thought. I do like the cut of this dress. I've always really loved the cut of this dress. I think it's leading toward the 1950 retro look a little bit. It's a crepe fabric and it's buttoned down the front. It's actually a really very, very comfortable dress. I'm not sure about the size of the spots. I love the white in it though. It's, it's an empire line in a way, but it does actually fall on the waist when it actually ends. It, almost on the waist anyway. And it's really fantastic if you have a small bust to have the pleating in the front here like this one has. A lovely flattering shape for a lot of women, but particularly women who are smaller busted, like myself. This style dress often comes with a tie belt, so you can tie it around the back and bring it in a little bit here and give you more definition. And I wished it did. It's just a fraction loose around here. So I would have preferred it if it had a tie belt at the back, but I suppose I could put one on. <laughs> I don't really feel like doing that though. I'll just show you these shoes as well that came from ASOS. I don't own a pair of white sandals or white shoes. So I always used to because I wear a lot of white, but I tend to wear nude with my whites these days so I don't have to have too many shoes in my wardrobe, but I do quite like white sandals and something simple and white. And I did like these, but when I bought them, They've got the square toe. I don't actually mind the square toe. It's very on trend at the moment. I just thought they were a bit paddle-like, a bit dominant with the white across here. Perhaps if they're a little bit more strappy or, I don't know. I just felt like it was really dominant white and I looked like I had two big white bands across my feet. I don't know, I do like them. A little bit higher than I would like. I don't know how many inches that is. Um, I don't know, three? I don't know, a little bit higher than I would like. But I quite like them. I thought, I thought I'd show you those. They're pleather, of course, not leather. And they're pretty economical. I think about $49, $50, something around that kind of money. So nice little shoe. On the fence with these ones, actually. I don't think I'll keep them. I'd prefer a lower heel. 
I'm going to consider the white dress. I do like it, wrong length for me. I would take it up to where it's just under the knee. It's, I think midi lengths and these funny in between lengths suit shorter ladies, petite ladies. They look fine if you're taller. So I would take it up. I'm on the fence about this one. It is a really nice fit and it does feel really great to wear. I have to say it's very comfortable. This one, question mark so far. I thought I'd show you these crepe pants, these chartreuse colored crepe pants before I put more dresses on. They're really incredibly comfortable and I do like them. There is one thing I'm not so sure about with these. The fabric is quite thin and I really dislike that with trousers. I'm looking for a great pair of pants or trousers, whatever you call them. I call them both actually. And I did want something with a wide leg but not too wide. They seem to tick a lot of boxes. They're a pretty good fit. I think they've got they've got a side they've got a side zip. I like side zips. I would say this colour is a bit of an odd colour, Chatrice. I think it only goes with either black or white maybe other neutrals but for me I'd wear it with black or white it's okay it's not against my face so it doesn't matter so the thing that I'm uncertain about these pants or trousers pants is the thin fabric which means you've really got to have the right undergarments on the right knickers <laughs> as I call them I call them knickers so you really do have to have the correct pair because these are just going to show up every panty line you can't help it when the fabric's thin like that and they are fitted so that's one reason i'm hesitant to keep them but they are incredibly comfortable now if i wore long tops which i would never do because i'm too short that covered my derriere and so forth then there would not be an issue but these aren't the kind of pants that you wear that way that wouldn't be very stylish there's a bit of a knicker issue with these pants you have to have this you have to have just the right kind this little bag once again collet it was um, under twenty dollars and believe it or not sometimes the simplest bags are the ones we don't have I didn't own a small stylish black bag I had really small ones or bigger ones but this size was perfect for under twenty dollars I just know I'll get use out of this bag Collet's having a great sale as I said now the shoes i'll show you the shoes as well um carefully <laughs> asos really love them because i love my slides you might have noticed that my pumps are my slides they've got the croc look the fake croc look what i don't like is this very narrow stiletto heel it's not too high so that's okay it's probably kitten heel height or a little bit higher but it's very narrow doesn't give me any stability for walking, none whatsoever. I do love the front of them though. I think they're a classy little pair of um, slides and if it had a solid heel on them, I would have kept those. But with that heel, I just don't feel secure. I know that we don't want to focus too much on our age here on YouTube, but with Older Women Rock, my channel, I get that. We don't want to focus too much with our age, but we have to be sensible at the same time. You know, we can't deny our age and deny the fact that we don't want to be totting around in shoes that we did when we were 20 or 30. We want some stability. Well, I do, because I don't want to fall over. <laughs> it's that simple, really, and I want to be comfortable. I want to look stylish, but comfortable. For me, these days, comfort counts. That's just the end of the story. It really does count. It's not everything, but I want both combined. I want it stylish and comfortable, unless it's sneakers or something, and that's the great thing about sneakers, isn't it? So on the fence about these pants, I really have to think hard about these pants because I find it hard to find pants that fit me well and these do fit really well. They're, they're so now with less chatter from me, I'll just get on and show you the rest of the dresses and I won't talk, I'll just run through them and show you and I'll indicate to you as I go along which ones are staying, which ones I'm sending back and which ones I'm keeping and which ones I'm on the fence about. You'll be able to tell by my hand gestures and my facial expressions which ones I'm sending back on the fence or keeping. Before I show you the other dresses, I just thought I'd talk about this dress. The fabric is really strange. It's almost like foam. No kidding, it's like wetsuit fabric or something. It's got this spongy feel to it. It feels like foam. And it's a very odd style. I, I think it definitely looked better in the photo as they often do. Um, yeah, kind of not me. <laughs> it's definitely not me. Um, 
it's really soft. Whatever this bony fabric is, it's really soft. It's almost like it's got its own built-in shapewear a little bit too, which could be a plus. If this was a whole different style dress, I might think about it. But um, yeah, I'm not sure about all this business. I don't know how this is supposed to stay up, mind you, this on, on the one shoulder look going across here and the big wide belt under my bust um, here on the Empire. I, I don't know. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's an interesting style dress, but I don't really want an interesting dress. I want a great dress that I love. <laughs> it's going back, definitely. Thank you so much for watching today. Thank you for spending time with me. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye now.